What's up guys, Matt Co. Michael's outside, so you know he's got the goodies on the truck and he's got some new stuff today. So you guys, come on. What's up? What's going on? Uh-oh, got the big boss lady back. Everybody was wondering where you was at. Yeah, I gotta be good again today. <laughs> I've seen uh, where Joe's back in the swing of things, got his new truck. And he does. Um, I'm excited for him. I know that feeling when I had my new truck. Uh, and I wasn't having near as many problems as what he was either. So to know that, that he's got got that over with and everything else. Yep. Um, he's killing me on toolbox sales, but, <laughs> you know. That's guess, just because ain't nobody seen a Matco toolbox in a while because his truck's been broke. That's I don't know, is. you know. Uh, he was posting some pictures the other day, and I was like, dang, oh. He's killing me on those. I That's, figured you'd have sold the big gray one. I have somebody wanting to do a cash offer on it. Um, and anytime somebody gets ready to do a cash offer, they're going to try to make sure that they have all their ducks in a row. So yeah. he got on it, looked at it again today, opened some drawers, you know, started picturing some stuff. So. Um, oh, yeah. If he's already envisioning his impacts and sockets in there, that I don't figure sold. it won't. I don't figure it'll be long at all. And. He will be good to go on it. So, well, I'm a, uh, I'm in the market for some of these Matco tools for the call shirts. Well, we got some back there. So we uh, got some new hoodies. Got yeah, that's the new hoodies that come out. I even got the new beanies. Yeah, the beanies are here. I ordered that stuff a while back. And it come it come pretty quick, so I uh, I just went ahead and took it as we got it. That's something else new too the uh, the speaker with a wireless charger on it. Yes, it's cool. All right, I about got all this printed off. So one of the things that I want to talk about is the underhood light up there. Um, you know, I showed the new underhood light that we mm -hmm. had. Everybody's probably noticing that we've had that one before. Um, 2100 lumens. 2100 lumens here, I'll squeeze back. Man, that's a... Uh, of course, you don't have to have the plug-in charged uh, to charge it, but I was charging it up so people could get the full effect. So later on today, I'll actually unplug that. Um, that actually, un uh, it unhooks from the rail too, so you can have it. It's got a magnetic base. Mm -hmm. So you can actually have it as a regular light as well when you don't need the under hood part. But they changed a couple of things about it. Uh, and that's a hoss right there, 2100 yeah. lumens. Uh, so it'll work, I guess, plugged in or not plugged yes, in. Yes, it'll work plugged in and not plugged in. Um, I've just got it there charging it. That way I could show it off. Sometimes they come in charged, sometimes they don't. Uh, but I'm trying to get what they improved it somehow, and I thought that I had it. I, had, I thought I had it printed out. Let's, I like the way you can slide it left and right on there. So yeah, you can and swivel it. Yeah. Um, so what they've changed about that light? It used to be 1600 lumens. They increased that to by 31 percent up to 2100 lumens. So you get that extra brightness. Like we've always said, it can't be too bright. Right. Um, they updated a quick release adapter so that way we can take it off and use it somewhere else um, because you always don't need a hood light all the time. Yeah. Sometimes the hood light you're getting blocked by your own shadow mm -hmm. and stuff like that so it's good to have that. They uh, put a new IP67 rating for water and dust even when the cap is off so that's Ooh. pretty incredible. So. Uh, I, like I always say, we're not going to work underwater, but if it's sprinkling, raining right. outside, you've got a little protection on it. Uh, and they offer it now in the two colors. 
So green and orange in the colors now. So that's uh, people like their colors. So if you have one before, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we did, you know, we do upgrade tools when we find that they need to right. be brighter. What's the uh, price run on that? I think it's running around like 260, 270 ish area. Yeah. I may be off a little bit on that. Um, but when you're, if it was just a hood light, I'd say it's a little high. Yeah. Um, but I when, like it. But when you can use it as a hood light and use it for doing brake jobs and everything else, because mm -hmm. uh, that's got a strong magnet. And I actually sold these lights just by themselves because you can buy them either or. Mm -hmm. um, but I've sold them just by themselves. And like body shops, they love them because usually they're working in a dark kind of area. Um, no, it's not the true light that they like. You know, they like that true sunlight light, yeah. but uh, that's for their paint side. When they're doing Bondo, they're fine with just a bright mm -hmm. light. So sold a couple in body shops and stuff. Um, I think that's another important key on that. Now we've upped the dust level, so that helps out in their yeah. line of work because I've never seen a body shop that does Bondo that ain't. <laughs> yeah knee yeah, deep in guys dust work man but uh I, I like that you don't have to have the cord hooked up all the time yeah uh the cord hooked up all the time just gets in the way what's um, the run time on it without uh let me look it up if i knew up. that would help let's see looks like uh three and a half hours ish that's so, really good though you know. well it is it is when you can say okay well i can still use it on the charger too right. if it i would be kind of worried if you couldn't mm -hmm. because with 2100 lumens that's a that's bright, that's bright right. which it's 1600 lumens on low i believe um but either even that i mean three and a half hours is pretty good but we do have that um and i also talking about body shops i i've want to show this off because i love them and i've i knew maco sold them but for whatever reason never ordered one my body shop's like these because if you've ever did an all-over paint job or even a repair job just on normal and then you get done and you see a little tiny dent and you're like holy crap you know we got to fix that before the customer sees mm -hmm. it not that we did it but we just put bondo up here and there's a little ding down here right. and they're going to want it all fixed don't mean that they paid for it to all be fixed, but they're going to mm -hmm. want it fixed. Well, this here screws onto the end of a pry bar. So as long as you can get inside that area, like and take the door panel off right. or whatever, it'll actually roll that dent out from the inside. Now this ain't gonna work on a huge dent, and it yeah. may, if it's crinkled, it ain't gonna work anyway. We mm -hmm. already know that. But you know, just it's like- It's like where somebody bumps into just it a door or shopping or something. cart. Yeah, there's yeah. just a door ding or something. And we've got actually two on our Tahoe that we don't even know where it come from. Mm -hmm. That's why I ordered this. The paint's not messed up. It's not a huge dent. This will roll it right out. I've seen mm -hmm. it several times. These things are worth their weight in gold when you don't have to, you know, sand it down, putty it. Because most of the time, the dings that you're using these for, you're not even using Bondo, you're just using the putty. Yeah. You know, it's that small of a ding. Uh, now, I've, I've took out some pretty big dents just by taking a door panel off and taking a hammer and pushing and it'll mm -hmm. just pop back out, yeah. you know. I mean, we've all done that, but this is kind of the same theory. If I can roll it out, mm -hmm. A, I'll have less body work if it don't get it all out, and then, hey, it may get it all out and won't even affect won't the paint. Won't even need to paint it or anything. That, yeah. So, I ordered this from my body shop guys. They really like them, uh, which I ordered them some dollies and stuff, too, that they like. So, I'm trying to... I had a guy the other day say, well, you got everything from a mechanic. Now, where's the body shop? So, <laughs> trying to get my body shop guys, body got shop guys, some stuff. All right. Y'all don't need to hear me anyway, right? So, that is a wireless charger and a speaker. Yes. Cool. Now, we have found out, um, part, of, part of what we've talked about before is I want to be honest about everything. What we've found out with that one is the people that have got used to these here, Oh yeah, the big one. Them right there will jam, dude. The people that good. have got used to these don't like those. Mm -hmm. And the reason they don't like those is because those ain't as loud. Yeah. That one's perfect to put um, in your office mm -hmm. or something like that. And I mean, if you're not if you're not in one of these shops, it's just all the time loud. You know, if you've got ten techs working at one shop, it's almost all the time an impact or something right. going. Yeah. Um, 
But if you're the only one working, there's going to be a lot of times to where it's okay to be a little quieter. But um, I, I push that now for home use and for office use, just because it, mm. it's just not as loud. Well, um, I know that one right there. This one right here will jam. I've sold it to. I sold one to my own dad who works in a factory. So they are it, bad. We uh, he had <laughs> right there good. Yeah, I think it's uh, does JBL. They they make speakers right is mm -hmm. that who makes them he had a yeah he has a little waterproof jbl speaker and he saw that on my truck and uh because he likes buying the socks but he saw that and he's like how loud is it oh he's like well so we got both of them side by side well we do that for about 10 minutes and can't really you know tell a whole big of a difference so we actually downloaded a sound app and that one beats out the jbl mm -hmm. by just a little bit so well um, i know i can turn it on in the shop and like you know, and I got a pretty good size shop, and it's it's it does a good job in there. Yeah, a really good job. Yeah, it uh, that's a good speaker. I like the magnet on the back too. Mm -hmm. um, they recently redesigned uh, the speaker just a little bit. The emblem used to be in the middle, yeah, uh, and now it moved over. The reason I know they redesigned it is because of that. <laughs> they yeah. moved the emblem, but also they changed the part number. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what all they changed, but I know they changed that. Well, I like oh. those right there. They do a really good job. We got it for Caroline, like when we go in the car. Yeah. Like, because we like to listen to our music and stuff too. So she can put that, we put the, the iPad on the back of the seat in the little holder. And then she can put that sound bar across her lap. Of course, she's learned to turn it up. <laughs> so she'll crank that bad boy up. But I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of her, her little sound system for her stuff so that's that's my middle daughter she wants to listen to everything wide open like yeah. she she's got to where now she'll hand me the remote she'll say you watch your shows and i'll watch your phone and that's fine except for she wants to watch my phone at wide open so i'm <laughs> watching my show listening to hers and <laughs> well i see raku's got this new thing where you can plug your headphones into the remote so you can have headphones and watch tv and nobody else hears it so yeah, I just tell her to cut it down. <laughs> but speaking uh, of the baby girl, I seen the pictures where she got her big girl shots and didn't cry. She didn't. All she said was, "Ow." They <laughs> laid her down, and you know they tucked her legs, and I held her arms, and that was it. Uh, Those booster shots are rough too. Yeah. They she were bad. Two. She got one in each leg. Yeah. So. Yeah, I let her. I talk. remember when my son got them. It's like his leg it all puffed up and. See, our first one, she did that. She had a bad reaction to it, and it was mm -hmm. like this big, and her whole leg was black. Yeah. So we had to take her back, and they said, that's just normal. Like, oh, all right, then. So we, we moved clinics, and we hadn't had that problem since. Yeah. So on that light as well, I forgot to mention that it had a quick release. That's one of the reasons I printed it off, but it's got a quick release cable. So it's, you know, you ain't got a, I think the last one you plugged in, you had to screw a little ring on. Yeah. And you know, it's got those prongs and they always, almost always get bent. So quick release is just a better off. This that I'm fixing to show you, I, I was hoping to have it by this morning. I didn't catch UPS early enough to hold my packages. So it'll be in the, be probably in this evening or I'll show it next week. But I wanted to talk about it. I'm going to show a brief picture. I don't know if you've ever had a Torx and wish that it was on a swivel, mm -hmm. but now we've got them. We've come out with them. Um, as you can see, it's going to have, and this is on a for an impact driver, so okay. that's even better, right? It's going to have your Torx on the end, and it's going to swivel right there, and it's going to give you the long uh, impact. Uh, right, the bit. Port. The bit driver to to do it. Um, it's going to have a twenty through a fifty. Hey, yeah. So. That's, I don't think it skips any. Let's see, 20, 25, 27, 30, 40, 45, 50. Pretty, overall, pretty good selection there. Uh, gives you a six inch extension. Uh, confined areas with a direct 90 degree access. Uh, so, these, of course, are gonna be useful in oil pans, valve covers, and other stuff, and, and your BMWs, Volkswagen, Jaguar even doors and stuff like that that they went to that right. you know that you put that chrome swivel on and it's binding up mm -hmm. and this right here uh as of right now no other mobile uh offers the impact driver universal so that's cool we're gonna have them uh mm -hmm. whether it be this evening or whenever they're already out this is uh release this is nothing like top secret it even says ask your maco tool distributor for details up top yeah 
but I wanted to show the picture and show what's coming. I know mm -hmm. it'd be a lot better when we put them in our hand. We got another new product coming too, but I really wanted to emphasize this. And I've heard a couple comment, I read a couple comments, you know, more tool talk, more tool talk. Well, we got these coming, so okay, that's, that's gonna cool. be cool to go. Uh, well, on the Matco shirts, I need a medium. That's two your, that's your extra large and a 2x and did y'all get any of the breast cancer hats in the uh, we haven't got any in papers? as of yet we're waiting on them to come in um, the knives, uh, guys, if you're ordering the knives, um, they're going to be a little bit of a delay, but we are getting them. So okay. be patient with your distributors. Uh, apparently, they were when they were making them, they found some type of flaw that they wasn't happy with, so they started again. Mm -hmm. um, just full front up, being honest with you, you know, I could say, hey, they're, they're coming, but I want to tell you why we're yeah. kind of delayed on it. Um, but still going to have the knives. Uh, I think that shirt's in here, in this flyer, I think. Yeah, there it is. So, I, so tell everybody, which now, I've actually got mine on today. I, got, I think this was the first year ones. But tell everybody about what Matco does with the t-shirts, because I think that's the coolest well, it's not just the t-shirts, it's everything pink, right? Everything pink. So what they'll do is they will donate 15% of the purchase price of the Tools for a Cause merchandise of the breast cancer to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So if if it's pink, they're gonna donate it. That's really cool, 15% mm -hmm. um, of it. I think they chose a great organization to donate it to and stuff like that. Uh, they do it every year. Um, but it's kind of got more uh, spotlight the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they they're going to donate fifteen percent of the purchase price. So. So that's really good, you know. I mean. Yeah, I mean. That's awesome of a company to do that. So. So yeah, um, and they have a lot of cool stuff this year. I mean, they they brought back the box. So they did that mm -hmm. one year, uh, and we had several requests the last two years, maybe or maybe one, I don't know. But I had a lot of people ask me, you know, when are they making that box? I want that box, mm -hmm. you know, so. Are they doing the paint creeper again this year? I'm sure. Um, I'm not 100% positive on that, but I would think that they were. Because you know, last year when they did it, I bought the paint creeper and it was actually $10 less than the creeper was normally. So yeah, we're you still, saved money on it, plus it went to a good cause. Yeah, we're still a month out. Um, so I'm not 100% positive that they are, but I hope. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Um, I had I sold probably four or five of those creepers. Mostly the people that already had one, but hey, they wanted to support the cause, and B, they liked the pink creeper. Yep. Nobody else in the shop had That's one. That's true. That's why I got it. So, so I mean, we're definitely doing the pink ratchets again. The, yeah, those the, are really cool too. The t-shirts I sell them just about all year. I mm -hmm. order enough to be able to sell all year, um, but. All right, guys, I'll well, make sure to check out the Matco pink stuff. You guys need to get some pink stuff because it goes to a good cause. All right, well, y'all have a great day. Like always, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Merchandise over here, cool tools, discount codes, all that stuff, and click that subscribe button. It's free, never costs you a dime. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.